Like that's one of those. I'm so jealous of your lifestyle. Yeah, that's true. Like you just get to work and not worry. Like you you build stuff, which is I mean that's important. Yeah, it's very important. Otherwise, how is our civilization going to progress? Exactly. But also, it's like I wish I wasn't struck with this burden of just you know being in a metropolis. Just this burden that comes with being so intelligent and caring about other people, and it'd be so nice to just be. Just in Home Depot, just a laughing white at a dude Chinese carry- guy. <laughs> <laughs> this guy was holding a box, being like, oh, and this lady was just like, I don't know what you're saying, sir. And he was like, oh, and he tried to like, there was two separate products. Yeah. And he was basically asking like, can I like, he was trying to like combine them yeah. somehow. And they're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. no, you can't. And he was like, he's like, no, like trying to fit these two things together. And they were like, dude, you just, you can't do that. Dude, we, I was in the car watching like five Asian people walk by Helium and mm-hmm. they were all like filming things around. And I was with a friend, I don't want to name him, but we both started like, oh, yes, a very film, a film, a very cool, a very cool bar here, fear, death, yeah. Yeah. But uh, there was a psychic medium sign right next to it. Uh-huh. And I was like, dude, how good would it be for just a fucking Chinese dude to go into a psychic, like, speaks no English. The psychic's <laughs> like, uh, do you have any brothers? He's like, yes. Yes, I have many brothers. <laughs> be funny. It's like how how old is your brother? He's like, no, I don't have any brothers. I wonder how many foreigners go into a psychic without being able to read English because it. You go to a psychic, it's, got all it's symbols just like red and, lettering and shit. You yeah. just think it's a whorehouse. They only just like go in, sit across from a lady, and just like put their dicks out. <laughs> <laughs> like no, no, no. It has cloth and shit hanging. There's candles. Yeah, they're probably uh-huh, like yes. perfect. Yes. I'll get that dick sock right here, please. <laughs> like, uh, do you have any brothers? I'm sensing you have some family member. Do you have a brother? Yes, I have very many brothers. How old is your brother? No, I don't have no brothers. How old is your brother? He too. Very old, the brother. <laughs> he starts like grabbing her leg. Come here, you're very pretty. Very pretty girl. <laughs> well, I, went, I, I went to a psychic with a. Uh, with my girlfriend, with Brittany, when we first got together, and this lady, I was like, dude, this is such a fucking waste of money. This is stupid. And then, like, she's like, it's not. Nah, nah, nah. We went in there, and the lady was like, you know, she's talking. She was like, I sense you have a lot of relatives. And my girlfriend's looking at me like, see? And I'm sitting there like, all right. And she's like, you'll be married one day. And I'd just gotten divorced. And I was like, yeah, I just got divorced. And she was like, oh, oh wait, uh, and I was just like, you fucking, you blew it. Oh, you my blew God. it, lady. You fucking blew it. Fake psych. I exposed her, dude. Damn, imagine how much money you can make as a fucking broad psychic just bringing in chicks and well, being like, you will one day be married. And the chick like, yes, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I well, knew I was gotta, finally yeah. going to get married. So you bring me to my whole point. So we went out afterwards, and I got struck with the idea where... Oh, God. This is, dude, this, I, no matter what I did, I got <laughs> fucking struck with at this point. It's going to be fucking retarded. Dude, a club for white guys, or anyone really, who wants to do? Who wants to practice Asian impersonations? But seriously, like no bullshit. If you laugh, you're out. So you have like a whole thing. Where it's like, oh, welcome. And if anyone laughs, it's like immediately you get escorted out. And you see who who can last the longest, dude. Imagine renting out like a Radisson Inn and just like a conference room, with dude. Just like, oh, welcome. <laughs> if you laugh, dude, you get pulled out. <laughs> so yeah, like at each, t- it's like the World Series of Poker. There's just t- there's just tables, and you get like a meal. And it's like, oh, I'm very good. I'm very good. <laughs> Everyone doing it loud. Yeah. And if you do, to su- and like you'd have like sp- like speakers, and you have to like take turns addressing <laughs> stuff. And if you laugh, you're out, dude. You're fucking. You gotta leave. Last man standing. That's a great. Right? That's I mean, that's incredibly racist, but that's a good. Well, yeah, but my that's my thing. It's like it's a serious practice. That's why if you laugh, you're kicked out. This yeah, is guys just who just want to to see who can. No, this is laugh. guys who want to work on their accent. I understand, but it's like if you wanted to like say there was like an acting gig that popped up. <laughs> <laughs> like some people work on yeah, Irish accents, like the Great Wall or <laughs> or the Last Samurai, where you yeah. need to be a white Asian dude. Because yeah. <laughs> in my head, I was like, well. I mean, if I was like studying Mandarin, I'd have to do the accent. So what the fuck? I switched language, and all of a sudden it's bad. It's like, come on. Yeah. Well. You understand the difference. I do, I do. <laughs> That's why you'd have to have utmost sincerity. That's why laughing is punishable by your execution. You'd have to. You know what would help with the laughter is if you had a few Asian guys like stand, stand guard. <laughs> you'd have, they would be the like security guys kicking. Men. They'd be the guys kicking. So you like, out. you'd have to make eye contact with them when you laugh. <laughs> 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 They'd be the ones kicking you out. Yeah. Like, oh, oh. 
<laughs> they fucking have bamboo sticks, oh, fucking whipping people. That'd be so funny. It used to be a gong for when people get eliminated. They laugh at <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, that'd be so fun. We should do that at the Radisson. We should. Yeah, we should rent out the conference room. <laughs> like six dudes in there. Everyone laughs immediately and leaves. <laughs> How many people? If we had seven to eight listeners show up to that, how many dong? How many dong hoods do you think would be on <laughs> seven, dude? <laughs> you think everyone's going all in on this? Oh, I mean, I hope. I'm trying to bring back foreskin, dude. We- dude, do you know the Chinese shit outside very often? True. The Chinese shit in public. Yeah, Shane showed me. The, uh, that's a lot something of, you need to know. Uh, there's at least 50 Chinese people shitting outside. Yeah, that's oh, actually like an epidemic. In, in America? In like malls. Well, no, 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 no. Oh. well yes. Now that they've moved to America, <laughs> Chinese immigrants will shit like in malls and at airports and like publicly. Like if you have to shit, you, it's like to them it's the same as pissing. Like the same as when you get drunk or something and piss in like an alley. So you've read this then. It wasn't just, just yeah, the Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is very what? real. I've, I know all about this. Chinese. So just take dumps. Chinese yard shit epidemic. Dude. <laughs> They'll shit in their yard. They'll shit in their front yard. So they'll just shit anywhere. They'll shit, dude. There was Google it. There's people I that are like you. traveling to China, and they'll be like, one of the biggest things that was uh, <laughs> a big jump for me was that there's human feces a lot, like on the streets. Like you run dude, into so gross. areas where people just shit. Ew. Yeah, dude. Dude, I was telling you about that story I read earlier about oh. the fucking. Oh, did you? Hey, dude, I read. I read that story earlier. Um, there was a somewhere in South Africa where there was this guy who like he rolled into a town. There was like the equivalent of like a shaman. I forget what they called it. it was some different word for it. But there was like a spiritual leader. This guy rolled in, allegedly killed the other spiritual leader. I was like, all right, I'm in charge now. That guy clearly displeased like the, you know, yeah. hooba boo boo, whatever. And uh, <laughs> he, ended, he, ended, <laughs> he, ended up, he ended up like, he had all these parishioners and he was like, you guys got to go dig me up corpses, dig me up bones. If you dig up bones, it'll make you stronger. And if you <laughs> dig up like graves and give me body parts, then like it'll make you rich and like you'll get money granted to you from like yeah. a luck and good fortune. So this guy, like this shaman, ended up killing a girl and eating her with like four of his close followers. So they had like a town hall meeting. <laughs> like this guy killed a girl. He ate her. We want to let everyone know. And this is in South Africa. And he, in South Africa. Okay. And these fucking his fought like th- out of the, the town was seven hundred people. Out of seven hundred people, three hundred came forward and like yeah, I ate some of the girl too. He told me to make her make me stronger. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Almost fucking half the village ate part of this girl. So just as many Nazis in America ate that girl in South Africa. <laughs> yeah. Dude, how uh, fucking funny is that? There, it's still this world. He's like, yeah, but he told me if I dug up the bones and brought it to him, it would make me very strong and my children strong, dude. Yeah, <laughs> like, dude. holy fuck. Yeah, and people want to change America. <laughs> dude, that is There's funny South, to think. And South Africa is not that bad of a country, no. uh, like, I mean, what GDP-wise part of, yeah, exactly. and all that. It's like... I mean, this was a rural, like, far-off yeah, yeah, yeah. village. It's like you're near Swaziland. But imagine that, because they, they had a call town hall, and you're watching, like, South African TV, South yeah, African yeah. CNN, it's like... Fuck, you ate that girl, huh? And you're like, dude, 300 people it's ate like, her today, too? brew. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, a man ate a girl, brew. <laughs> All right. I thought that. Yeah. Well, hey. anyway, let's go back to you saying that. I didn't say that. Asians are Mexicans from outer space. It was part of a bit. It wasn't part of a bit. Yeah. I made you do it a, Do it in a bit. That you was just good. said it on the street. <laughs> and I was like, you got to say that on stage. And you're like, no, I'm not going to do it. I was like, just fucking say it. <laughs> it did work. So as soon as he says it, a fucking Asian dude, <laughs> a disoriented Asian man walked into the room and just looked around for like five seconds and walked back out. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what I was saying. He was, like the, uh, he was my Matrix assassin. He just broke through the fucking <laughs> yeah, strings dude. of reality and came to get me. So Asians are from another dimension, is that what you're saying? <laughs> I mean... That when they hear you bad talk them, they've come out of their portal? <laughs> I, <laughs> fuck yeah, I thought he was going to raid and fly across the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't necessarily think they're from another dimension at all, but if science proved it, I'd be like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah? I'd be like, yeah, it's good science. <laughs> <laughs> so if you find like a clickbait site that's like, Asians are from Mars... I, I wouldn't you say would be Mars. Like, I believe that. I think another dimension. Oh, okay, entirely. Yeah. Okay. White people might be from a different dimension too. I think we're all from different Thor dimensions. Oh, okay. So that yeah. all makes sense. Yeah, we're all from different dimensions, and here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try to fucking cover it up. Dude. I'm not covering up anything. This is why MTV made that fucking thing. Oh. MTV. So, uh, how about you? What's going on with you? 
Damn the Chinese, really. the Chinese upstairs, up there are jumping around, stomping on the doing steps. calisthenics, dude. God, I don't damn. think we pick them up. We never I pick can them hear up. them. Yeah, we never pick them up. But my the steps to the apartment above us are right above. It's right above my room. Yeah, so riddle me this though. Yeah, how many steps do we just hear? That was not many. Exactly. And he stopped. Probably twelve yeah. in a flight of steps. Fourteen. I heard like four steps. You think there's little. Crouching tiger, hidden dragon going on upstairs. You think he ran down the wall? You think he floated up six steps? <laughs> you think he jumped crane, air crane, and floated up the last? He probably did. <laughs> Dude, when they, they'll run out in the morning to go to class, so fast. they sprint down the steps at like eight in the morning. And I wake up out of like a fever dream in my bed, like, <laughs> the Asians are coming. I love science fiction. Anytime I try to think of a science fiction idea, I'm like, and then I'm like, Fuck! I don't know how that works at all. I'm like, God, <laughs> yeah, I can't do this. Hard. Yeah, I'm like, how the fuck do tra- how do tra- how does AI work? I was like, I was writing it. I was like, and then a loophole through. Fuck! I don't understand any of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I look forward to that. The social credit system shit's crazy. You should make it the Tokyo Partners, and then they invent, they invent Donald Trump, actually, and it's just Trumpzilla, dude. He comes accidentally through. invent Donald Trump. <laughs> That's pretty sick. That is Speaking pretty of the Tokyo Partners, yeah, dude. Somebody on our Reddit was uh, was nice enough to share some pretty breaking news on the Tokyo Partners. He broke it, dude. Uh, they in a Chinese zoo. The Tokyo Partners. There's so much China. zoo news and fucking Asian news. Yeah, they don't treat animals. A lot of zoo related news. They don't treat animals too great. The zoos must be wild there. You well, probably you probably pay to like kick a kangaroo. Well, that's what it is. They were throwing they were throwing rocks at kangaroos. Just because the Asian, the Tokyo partners showed up. <laughs> they were there for business, and they. I guess the Tokyo partners just purchased a bunch of kangaroos, and the kangaroos weren't hopping around. So they're like, "All right, chuck some rocks." So out. they all started throwing rocks at the kangaroos to make them hop. And then, like they heard a couple of kangaroos, so the zoo like took rocks away from around the exhibit. Just oh Asian my people God. Kept throwing rocks at the kangaroos, <laughs> and then they kept. They walked a distance to get rocks. Brought him back to the kangaroo thing and started throwing him again. Any kangaroos die? Yes. Did they? One, one, they broke its foot, and they thought that was the only injury. And then the kangaroo was like hurt for a few days, and they're like, "What's Holy wrong with this thing?" Shit. It had internal bleeding from getting hit with rocks. All right, so if I'm going to hit you with this question, so there's you got the you have the option of setting up like a Royal Rumble death match kind of thing, but with like the world's poorest people, but from different groups of ethnicities. It's like who do you think is going to win that? Like you have like the poorest Asian, you have like poor Asian people. Poor black people, poor white people, and just like the idiots, just a poor the collective idiots, of idiot just, race war. Yeah, exactly. Who in the physical battle? Who do you think is going to come out on top of that? The physical fights. Yeah, like you can do like a March Madness tourney. Well, the poor you Asians, have like Armen- like shitty Armenians. Oh, that's where. All right, so you are get, we counting, yeah, you are get we into counting like, them as whites, or are we talking? We're going to go country? full multi. We're going to go like the fucking shit Olympics of just like the shittiest of the world. The shittiest Americans are all probably pretty obese. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So they're in trouble. They're gonna hit charge with their scooters. They're gonna charge sumo wrestling. Nah, they're gonna charge <laughs> we on their scooters. We got a little rascal have, soup up their yeah. power scooter. Are they allowed to use weapons or is it just hand to hand? Hand to hand, dude. All right. So the Chinese are in trouble because they're if you're a poor Asian, you're very malnourished. True. Poor black people also are running into obesity. Yeah. I think if you're if you're not counting like Slavs as white people. No, there's they're, not even white. It's just we're going to go country by country. Okay. I think, I bet Russia and like. Yeah, that'd be tough. Like Chechnyans and like. They have like fucking braided mullets and shit. Yeah, they'd, they'd be tough. Hockey jerseys, dude. I mean, Nigeria. You're running into some thick bulls. Some pirates. Out of there. You got some pirates coming, hitting the thing from. Somalia. Yeah, dude. You got some. Pi- you're attacking pirates. That'd be, they'd be tough. They're to skinny, fight. though. I don't know. That's yeah, but tough. they're fucking pirates, dude. Each country's poorest people fighting. Yeah, isn't that what war is, man? <laughs> no, it's like the isn't middle. Exactly it's what each country's war is, middle dude. class fighting. <laughs> That's true. Isn't it the poorer against the poor? I guess we would win. We, we're number one, dude. <laughs> America's number we one. We fucking win again. All right, dude. so if it's country by country, then we get poor black people on our side too. Nah, that's true. So we we would fuck some people up in America. True. You get red. But you said our poor blacks are pretty fat too. Yeah, but uh, if we're just. Because then we can probably count rednecks and black people. We would fuck a lot of people up. 
Shit. America would be a tough customer. Russia is a tough fucking. I think you. I think you're sleeping on poor Asian people, dude. Poor Asian people are so they're small. Fuck, they work with ropes a lot, dude. They're fucking at the docks, dude. Pulling in. Yeah, but boats they're also like opium. Five two. <laughs> Yeah, but dude, imagine pulling in that fucking boat of, con- fucking... of contraband, dude. You're taking like illegal, like re- reverse engineered fucking knockoff shit all day in a boat and pulling that rope at the docks, dude. Your bare feet are clinging to the now, wood of the docks. Your numbers, they would be trouble. You're kicking down palm trees in the fucking Manila, dude. <laughs> fucking <laughs> jujitsu in palm trees. <laughs> the numbers, that would be a problem. Yeah. If this is hand to hand combat, then Asia and India. True. Or China and India. Poor Indians will get grimy on you too. They will. They gotta watch you saw them out. You working dude. in that factory, dude. They you are gotta not watch afraid. out, dude. Yeah, they'll fucking they'll cut you with some glass or something, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is good stuff. <laughs> it's a shame we can't have all of our poorest fight to the death for us for our entertainment. I mean, technically, I just, I just did my taxes yesterday. <laughs> did you be you be at the front lines? <laughs> I mean, I mean, way in the front with a scooter, dude. I'd be like, come on. I, I Unless I get fucking brainwashed. What's that shirt? Positive vibes only, bro. You took off your fucking Blue Lives Matter shirt. I was I was like, hot. Were, I, I wore yeah, my Blue yeah, Lives. Yeah. I wore my Blue Lives. This is Green Lives Matter, dude. True, it's Irish cops. It's Irish cops, dude. The I, best kind I, of I wore cops. this in Whole Foods, and it was just kind of instantly like, I don't give a fuck, dude. And instantly walked around just like, oh, God, I oh, did, God, everybody dude, hates me. I uh. Every single time I put on a fucking outfit. Really? I'm like, I'll just wear this. Who gives a fuck? Fuck everybody. <laughs> yeah. Like when I wore, like I would wear a tracksuit. To mm-hmm. a comedy show, I'd be like, "Yeah, fuck all these people." As soon as I got there, I was like, "Fuck, I shouldn't have wore this." I was like a fucking <laughs> idiot, dude. Everyone knows I'm a fucking moron. That's what I felt in Whole Foods. I was literally like, "I'm a, I feel like a prey animal." I was just walking around, just like, "Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah." You love deer's thought process. I have, dude. I, I've said it before. I have like a squirrel's brain. I just kind of walk around. I'm like. <laughs> I gotta do stuff. I gotta remain busy, and I don't know why. I oh, I was just in a Chinatown for how was that? A, a runch and dinner. Where'd you have runch at? I had runch at uh, some neuter place in Chinatown. Yeah, I forget what it's called. Dude, it's fucking Sorry. good neuters. You just fucking reminded me, man. I, I have to. I have to pause you, dude. I was moving yesterday, and we have an Asian landlord, and he was on the roof of the building across from us, across the street. <laughs> nicest dude in the world dude and he was like we we're like hey you know charlie we're moving now and he was from the roof he goes oh do you need any hair he's like oh do you need any hair <laughs> like yelled at it from a roof all the way down across the street i was just like oh dude you're the best i would have gone home oh you're the best i'd be like yeah we're done <laughs> i'm done but i should have like I wanted to be like, yeah, we do actually, and just wait until so you like get down there. Like, oh, you sure you need hair? I sent my nephew. Yeah, he yeah. hair. He yeah. hair for you very much. <laughs> he just screamed it. You guys need hair? <laughs> do you guys need any hair? <laughs> uh, he yeah. actually helped one of the old tenants move. Really? He helped this girl move. Yeah, that's very honorable. He's so honorable, dude. It was like. <laughs> <laughs> So what you're in Chinatown? Yeah, it's just you're eating Chinatown. Neighbors? It's I, I haven't been uh, racist against Asians in very long. I don't. It's been like a couple of weeks since I've. I go back actually, and forth I think every that. single day. I'm like, Ugh. I go back and forth if that's racist, dude. Doing a Asian impression? Yeah, why not? You can do a Southern accent and be like, blah, blah, blah. that's a funny voice. Yeah, Asian voice in the ears of America. Hilarious, dude. Yeah, it is. There's something about it that is fun. It's, it's like so funny. they crack the code. As, you know how like farts are funny? Asian accents. Asian accents in America are almost as funny as farts. Asian accents is If a not, fart. almost funnier, dude. <laughs> like, yeah, probably. Like, if I heard that guy farting from the roof, I'd be like, oh, oh. Yeah. since he said hair up, I was like, <laughs> yes. I was like, nice, dude. Second best. Damn, think of an Asian farting. Must be the funniest thing in Yo. the world. Oh, I've never heard an Asian fart. I never saw a black person sneeze. <laughs> oh, I definitely saw a black person. <laughs> I know you sneeze. have, but I don't think they sneeze, dude. Asians I, don't fart. Black people don't sneeze. Interesting, dude. That's that's how it goes, bro. I didn't write these rules. I didn't write the rules either. I didn't dig the river, bro. Which I'm just swimming. Well, see, in. That's true. That's what we. That's what you're raging against when you see. Because especially we've covered this a million times, but Drexel's campus. Oh my god! Top to bottom, cool Asians. Yeah, dude. We're not talking. Well, you can tell the you can tell the foreign exchange Asians. Yeah, they're fucking. They're dressed like I don't know, man. I don't know what the fuck. They're dressed like uh, what was that? They're just like a. Like, you ever see that bear? That's like a logo for something. 
I think I know it's what you're talking it, yeah, about. Focus. They're just unco- – they're just – you can tell like a fresh off the boat Asian. It's just the level of nerd they're comfortable with displaying personally yeah. is just like, holy fuck, dude. Like your pants are up to your nipples, dude, and you are still like yeah. smiling. It's like they Googled like what is an Ameri- – like an outfit. Yeah. And they're just trying – they're literally <laughs> just trying clothes on for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> like trying to pass it off, which those guys are great. Great. Give me some Asians. Give me some fresh. I, though I like Asian my, boys. I like cool Asians in the gym, because I love seeing them in there getting jacked. I steal some of those Asian secrets, dude. Like what? They squat with their their shoes off. What? I pop my shoes off. I, I totally fucking last samurai that. I white appropriated their Asian fucking secrets, which is it's like yeah. a bodybuilding secret. But I just saw an yeah. Asian guy doing it, and I was like, man, you guys know so much about fucking secret health stuff, dude. So now you don't wear shoes and you do squats. When I squat, I take my shoes off. I do it with my socks. Oh my god. You fucking suck too, dude. <laughs> you suck too. If I see someone do something cool in the gym, I wait till they leave and I instantly copy it. <laughs> <laughs> this one guy did this thing where he puts his uh, like a a barbell bench thing where it goes up and down. He put a uh, he puts his feet on it and then puts two dumbbells and holds himself on dumbbells and does push ups. And I like watched this guy do this. And as soon as he left the building, I was like, I'm doing that shit right now, dude. <laughs> I can't, dude. I forgot that I wanted to. I wanted to say this. I was talking. Uh, so I watched that sick ass movie Patriots Day. Oh yeah, yeah. It gets me going, dude. I love this country so much. Dude, you should. But I don't. They mess with the wrong city. Let me tell you that. Why? The Zarnav brothers. They mess with the wrong Those city. They mess with Boston, and they, we were trying to jog, and they blew it up and ruined it. <laughs> You fucking gay Muslim we faggots. We paid money to ju- We paid 85 bucks to run in a circle and you we, bombed it. And you bombed it and you blew off a bunch of hot chicks' legs and I don't like that. That's what you said. They blew up shrapnel. Yeah, just... it was all low. They put the bombs on the ground. What so a dick it bomb. Up, it ended up blowing people's legs That's off. That's a really dick bomb, it hit dude. kids and legs. God. But uh, the one kid, and I forgot about it, one of the main parts of the story is uh, this Asian kid. They kidnapped they carjacked an asian dude Wait, what when they were running away in the middle of the night they they there was a manhunt for like several yeah days. yeah they carjacked an asian they dude? carjacked an asian a that, fast and furious no, car okay he's super asian from china sick ass scene yeah, where these dude. two muslim dudes that are acting black get in and are trying to carjack this asian dude and he's like i don't want the any problems with you please <laughs> And they're like, who get, who cares about you in this country? Who do you have that cares about you? He's like, nobody care about me here. <laughs> he's, he's, you know, Did his, they recruit him? His family's all in China. So he's sitting in the car and he's like, please, take everything. Just leave me alone, please. please. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, they're like, do you know 9-11 was an inside job? And he's like, I don't know much about the Anana uh, Revit. And they're like, yeah, that's because you're fucking brainwashed, dude. 9 11 was an inside job. And he's like, oh, okay. Okay, please. <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude, it's so funny. That's the highest comedy it ever. Is. It's, it really is the best comedy. And then he. Uh, what if What if you found out Mark Wahlberg, Tyler Perry, that whole situation? That was just Mark was Wahlberg him. playing the well, Asian. It was Jin Yang from Silicon Valley. Was Bound. it really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Holy so fucking fuck. good. He's, yeah. uh, he's great. But, uh,. That, that Chinaman ended up escaping their car and running and calling the police on them. He called the police on them? He called the police. He broke it, which is another great scene. Because then he breaks into – he's at a gas station. They're at a gas station. He escapes his his captors, the, okay. the retarded Zarnia brothers. They fucking suck so bad. They were so fucking gay. But then he – Jin Yang runs out to another gas station, which of course is owned by an Arab. So he comes in. He's like, he's like, ah, he's like, help! I need to help. Pray down. I kidnap me. A very over there. <laughs> the Arab's like, but they, but they. <laughs> Two dudes just trying to speak English, <laughs> trying to solve Dude, the crisis. The funniest part is how that how that movie's based off of real events. So at one point, a real Asian guy got like interrogated by the FBI, and he's like, "Oh, they tell me uh, 911 is not real." <laughs> like, Wait, what? Yeah. It's an inside job. They are very angry because 911 was very inside the jobs. <laughs> <laughs> very inside the jobs. <laughs> the fucking uh, they have there's security footage of it too, so you can see this Arab dude who owns this gas oh, station, like <laughs> trying to tell him to be quiet. And the, the, I mean, the, it's a college student, Asian kid, who's so like traumatized from this that he like crawls into the gas station and like hides behind the shit like in the desk holy shit and this guy's like 
I have a man in here. <laughs> I can't. He's like, he's not speaking English. Very good. <laughs> Asian kid gets out. He's like, we need help here. <laughs> the cops are like, what the fuck is this phone call? Dude, that's the funniest fucking thing in the world. Oh, it was. I oh, was, my God. I'm yeah. fucking crying. That Dude's Day <laughs> is great. I gotta watch that. Great movie. I gotta fucking watch it. And there's one part where Wahlberg, <laughs> they like, they recreate the, they have this, the FBI and the Boston PD, dude, don't fucking the mess Boston's with Boston's finest, BPD, dude. PD, dude, they're Fuck. so strong. They hate bombs, dude. I hate bombs. But they, <laughs> they mess with the wrong city. Oh my God. They recreate the crime scene in the warehouse. And they're like, we need to figure out which security cameras that we'll be able to see these guys on. Yeah. So, like, who knows these streets better than anybody? <laughs> and Mark Wahlberg steps up. He's like, at 542, they might have been out front of the Crate and Barrel right here. And he's like, think, think, man, think. It's it's crazy. <laughs> they're outside of Wahlburgers, and they made a left and hit the other Wahlburgers on the <laughs> north side. Sweet. <laughs> oh, and at one point, he's like, no, he's, that was Donnie Wahlberg. It was which an one? entourage. I was about to say Mark Wahlberg was like, I love this city. And I'm like, wait, that's fucking, that's Entourage as his brother. No, he was. Uh, was Mark? Did Mark Grace fucking Entourage? I think Mark Wahlberg was like the executive producer of. Was it? Oh, Entourage. that was like based on his life, right? It? Yeah. Shit. Who the fuck knows? That shit's all corny. Dude, the boys, dude. What do you know about checking in on Turtle and the gang? <laughs> I, I, I really, Entourage really sucked. It was the worst show that I, like, couldn't stop watching. Even, like, I was done it, digested it. I was like, this fucking, I was like, this shit sucks so bad. Oh, um, no. oh dude. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Fuck. We're live. We're back. I fucked up because I'm a fucking loser, dude. I didn't have the audio thing plugged into my thing. We were recording the last 27 minutes straight through my laptop, so the audio is a little tinny. Yeah, the audio sucks dick, but don't worry. It's dude, I I couldn't dude, and I I know our fucking fans will be with us, dude. They wouldn't want that deleted. Dude. I wanted to delete it, Matt. I it was too good. I was having too much of a good time. Matt stood his ground. I fucking stood my ground. I tried dude. to fucking sneak through his private neighborhood, <laughs> and Matt stood his ground. He said, "You get out of my property." I right couldn't, now. dude. I I just I couldn't. Dude. Not I thought even of, my property. I thought about neighbors. the boys, dude, and I was like, I can't fucking do it. Sorry about the quality of the first 27 minutes. That was my bad. Mm-hmm. My bad. I heard that. I just, God damn it, man. I was just too fucking funny about those two dudes trying to sort out a terroristic threat. The like, Asian men. You speak English, buddy. It's yeah. Like, I'm like, speaking English. Yeah, over there. The terrorists. Very right there. <laughs> and the guy at the gas station is like, don't call them terrorists. Uh. Oh, yeah, true. That'd be funny. Uh. Oh, wait. So you think they're terrorists? Like, no, they actually blew people's yeah. legs off. Oh, okay. Oh, it's another great part. <laughs> as soon Mark Wahlberg, of course, goes to meet the Asian man at the gas station, the Asian boy who was heroically escaped, and he's like, "What?" He's like, "Wait, they told you they were the marathon bombers?" And he's like, "Yes, and they're also using my GPS, which tracking number is three Dude, seven five me. eight six two seven. And he's like, "How do you know that?" He's like. I don't know. I just I know it. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's classic Asian. Holy shit, he's dude. He's an autistic the whole time, and you can't tell because he's Asian. Really? A really. And he got, a, he got abducted by the fucking Indian Silent Bob and Jay and Silent Bob. He's like, dude. Yeah. Uh. Fuck, uh, not Indian. Um, Basically Russian, dude. Oh, you told me that. They were like fucking... Chechnyan, Dagestani. Well, I sound like an ass. Why? Were they like Middle Eastern at all? Uh, No. Give me something, dude. They're just they're white different. guys. No, they're like they're white guys. Russian, weird Russian, different. I fucking I stereotype, dude. I stereotype oh, that they're Middle Eastern. Dudes. I was saying they're like Middle Easterners. No, no, no. Sorry, guys. Sorry, listeners. No, I'll well, let you down. Still, they're different. They're different than us. I'll tell you that. So I don't <laughs> like them. They don't look like us, dude. 